In this video, I'll show you how you can set up Surfshark on your smart TV. Let's begin. First, it's important to note that the setup process will depend on the type of TV that you have. So make sure to check the timestamps below the video to skip to the part that's relevant for you. We will start with Android TVs. Any TV that supports Android 5.0 or later will work with the Surfshark app. You can download the app by going to the Google Play Store, so simply search for Surfshark and click on install. After a minute or so, the app will be ready to open. Now log in with your Surfshark credentials. Finally, click on connect and there you go. Your connection is now secure. But what if you don't have an Android TV? You may have a Samsung TV running Tizen OS, an LG TV running WebOS, or a Roku or an Apple TV. Well, unfortunately, the Surfshark app is not available on any of these TVs. But do not worry, there are still three different ways to connect to the VPN even when the Surfshark app is not available. And first of which is actually by setting up a VPN on your router. I don't know why it's on the ground, but either way. By setting up a VPN on your router, all devices that are connected to your Wi-Fi network will automatically be secured by a VPN. Before trying this method, it's important to check if your router supports a VPN. For example, most routers from ASUS do support VPNs, However, a lot of proprietary ISP routers do not. If you are unsure whether or not your router will work with a VPN, you can check the manufacturer specifications page. For instance, the ASUS RT-68U supports the OpenVPN client as indicated here. Once you have a compatible router, the first step is to go to surfshark.com and log in. Then select VPN and click on manual setup. Here on the side, select router. Depending on your router, you will have a choice of connecting via WireGuard, OpenVPN, and iKiwi 2. Since I am using an ASUS router, I'll select OpenVPN. But we do have tutorials on how to set up other routers, such as this one, and I'll leave them in the description below. Now, here you will have two tabs, Credentials and Locations. Let's click on Locations, and then select the server we want to connect to. I'll use UK London. Next, click on this arrow here and select TCP or UDP. This only applies to the OpenVPN protocol and generally UDP tends to be a little faster while TCP is a bit more stable. I would recommend going with UDP unless you're having any kind of issues. This will then start the download for OpenVPN configuration file, which we'll be using a bit later for a router setup. After that, we will need to log into our router. To do that, let's open up a new tab and type in the following address into the URL bar, 192.168.11. If that one doesn't work, also try 192.168.0.1. Once you're at the login screen, you'll need to enter your router's username and password. Usually, it should just be admin admin. In some cases, however, you can find the credentials on the back of your router, such as right here. But anyway, after logging in, let's find the VPN tab and click on it. For ASUS routers, make sure to select VPN client. Just below this table, press on add profile. In the pop-up, click on open VPN. Here, we will need to fill out these open fields. For the description, you can name it anything you like. I'll name it UK London since that's the VPN profile I've downloaded. For username and password, we will need to copy the credentials from the Surfshark website. So, go back to that tab and click on Credentials. Then, just copy the username and paste it here. Do the same for Password. Now, for the OpenVPN file, click on Choose File and select the VPN configuration that we've downloaded earlier. After that, press OK. And to connect to the VPN, press on Activate. Back on your TV, connect to your VPN router's Wi-Fi network. And just like that, VPN is on. So, Overall, I really like the router method. It will allow you to really secure every device in your home since, again, all devices that are connected to your router's Wi-Fi network will have a VPN enabled. But what if you don't have a VPN router? Well, there's another method that I would like to show you. And for that, I would like you to meet my PC. Now, what am I talking about here? Well, you can actually use a Windows PC to share the VPN connection. 
This essentially turns your PC into a virtual router. For this, you will need a computer with Wi-Fi support and Windows 7 or later. If you have a spare computer, honestly, this method will work great. So let me show you how to do it. For this tutorial, I will be using Windows 11. So keep in mind that some steps may vary if you are using earlier versions of Windows. To start, here on the desktop, right-click on the Wi-Fi indicator on the bottom right and select Network and Internet Settings. Then click on Mobile Hotspot over here. After that, enable the hotspot by toggling this switch at the top. Underneath these options, press on Edit. And here, set a name and password for your VPN hotspot. I'll set the name to Surfshark VPN. And also make sure to set a strong password that includes numbers, letters, and various symbols. Then click Save. After doing that, let's go back to Network and Internet. At the bottom, select Advanced Network Settings. In this window, find an option for More Network Adapter Options and press on it. This will open up a new window that displays all of your network adapters. First, let's identify the mobile hotspot adapter that we just created. Next to it, it should say Microsoft Wi-Fi Direct Virtual Adapter. In my case, it is Local Area Connection 10. Remember that, as we will need it for a later step. Now, let's find our Surfshark adapter, which should say Tap-Surfshark Windows Adapter. So for me, that is Ethernet 4. Let's right-click on it and go to Properties. Then, go to the Sharing tab and check the first box that says allow other network users to connect through this computer's internet connection. After that, in this home networking connection drop-down menu, select the mobile hotspot that we just created through the Windows settings. Once again, for me, that is local area connection 10. Next, press OK and you can now close this window. The final step is to connect to the VPN via the Surfshark app. An important thing to note, however, is that VPN connection sharing only works while using the OpenVPN protocol. To change it, go to Settings, VPN Settings, and then in the Protocol menu, switch to OpenVPN UDP. Then connect to the VPN location of your choice, which will also set the VPN location for your created hotspot. Now, on your TV, connect to the Wi-Fi network that you've just created. And now check it out. My TV is in Germany. Well, it's not in Germany. It's connected to the Germany location, if you know what I mean. By the way, if you want to test if your VPN is really working, just open up a browser and go to surfshark.com forward slash what is my IP. And if you see the green protected status, then everything is working fine. The last method to set up a VPN on a non-Android TV is to use an external device such as an Amazon Fire TV stick that plugs into your television. Fire Stick uses the HDMI port and provides a vast library of streaming apps. If possible, we recommend getting the 4K version of the Fire Stick since it will work a lot better with a VPN. Also, keep in mind that Surfshark only works with the second generation of Fire TV sticks or later. Newer generation Fire Sticks are easy to identify since they feature a microphone or Alexa button. Now, in case Amazon is not available in your region, you can also use Android-based devices such as Xiaomi Mi Box or an NVIDIA Shield TV. Both of them support the Surfshark app and work great for streaming. I guess we'll include the links in the description below on how to set them up. So in conclusion, which method do we recommend? In terms of convenience and ease of use, Android TVs have a clear advantage. They're just so easy to set up since they have native app support. However, I know a lot of you own LG and Samsung TVs since they are so popular and have great picture quality. And I have one myself, so I can really vouch for the external device method. That is because it allows me to use the Surfshark app and access all of its features. That being said, my second favorite has to be, drum roll please, the router method. I mean, you've guessed it. I really like routers. Uh, yeah, again, this method works great because all devices in your household will automatically have a VPN enabled. So this has got to be my second favorite. So anyway, hopefully this video helps you decide on which method to use and set up a VPN on your TV. But that's all from me. Take care.